What's good, y'all? What's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl trying to shine back again with another mukbang today. Y'all been asking me and asking me to try Daxby's chicken sandwich. So, um, yeah. Y'all been asking me to try it. So, today I'm trying it for y'all. Y'all want my, y'all want my, I'm going to get y'all my opinion because y'all been asking me to try it. So, it must be that good. Y'all want me to try it so badly. So, um, yeah. And y'all, let me I'm on my diet. I have started my diet Friday. I've been doing good, so you know I got water. Room temperature water right here. So, we got fries. And we got the sandwich. So, that's why I don't why I always sit on my food. Okay. Sandwich looks. This is how the sandwich should look with the that sweet sauce. I guess I don't. There's no pickle on it. I don't see the pickle. Oh, down to the bottom. Okay, so. Thumbnail. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. I'm about to see you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. So yeah. I'm enjoying my diet. I'm actually proud of myself. You have to put your mind to it to want to lose weight. Let's try this sandwich. Y'all been begging me to try. Let's see. If it's any good, that's Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's good. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Yeah. I'm getting out there. I forgot my name. So if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight. You got to put your mind to it. So what I've been doing is, I eat once a day. I don't eat all day like I used to. So, I mean, just right now, I'm not going to eat no more at night. Later on tonight, you look a little salad.
I got my hair done today. Yes. To me, Popeye's got the best chicken sandwich, hands down. My top favorite chicken sandwich are from Popeye's, number one. KFC, number two. In I haven't tried McDonald's chicken sandwich yet. I haven't, I haven't tried <clears throat> their new chicken sandwich yet. McDonald's, I haven't tried theirs yet, but yeah. Popeye's number one. CJ, <clears throat> CJ, so cool and royalty. The vlogs on the YouTube are saying that their breakup is fake. I don't know if it's fake or not. I don't know. My thing is, you can't always look up to YouTubers, especially YouTuber couples. You can't say, oh, they are relationship goals because you don't know what they do behind closed doors so you can't say you can't automatically say they are relationship goals because you don't know what they do behind the scenes so we too <clears throat> in the prince family i i kind of watch them i kind of don't because they do stuff with you that i, I don't understand it Okay, so, so Damien I went to his dad to, to his dad's house, right, to talk to his dad. So his dad didn't answer the door, but his dad two cars was home, so he knew his dad was there. His dad didn't answer the door. Guess what? Damien had the camera out, so I'm thinking, like. If you can really talk to your dad, you don't need the camera out. You don't need to post it on YouTube, the conversation you have with your father. I, just, I thought I was like, because the Prince family, his subscribers, they like young kids that, that watch him. So I was like, you don't need, you don't need to post it on, some things do not deserve to be on YouTube. I just, that's my opinion. You know why his dad, his dad didn't enter the door? Probably because his dad knew he had the camera out. I feel like YouTubers do stuff like, sometimes, sometimes I feel like YouTubers are not really happy. 
and they were like, yep, they're, they're just trying to stay together because of you two, like, that's my opinion. So, yeah. Like, some stuff do not need to be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you're going to talk to your father, why are you vlogging it? Like, I'm gonna eat it right later. Poor dog. I'm not eating all that big food, raw food, like I used to. I'm I have to lose weight, and I'm, I'm going to do it. But, yeah, you know, people don't have respect for other people's feelings. They don't because negative people are so negative. They think everything is, is a negative thing, but really not. You see, for me, I know what not to post on YouTube and what to post on YouTube. Like, that's why I don't really talk about YouTubers because I don't know what they're all about because I don't, I don't watch CJ So Cool. I watch here and there of his videos, but I didn't really. Like, I feel like bigger YouTube would always, like, spoiling, spoiling their kids. <clears throat> Taking their kids on shopping sprees and all that. My thing is, your child should, the kids should earn money. They shouldn't be handed everything. Like a new iPhone, every other new iPhone, new Xbox. Excuse me. New PlayStation. No, you should, they should have to earn it. Instead of these so-called YouTubers. Yeah, you do worse. Always taking their kid on shopping spree, getting their kid a thousand dollars. I know uh, a YouTube family that give their kid a thousand dollars if they win, like, like it, it, if they're doing a game or something where you know, or they're doing a challenge. You win if you win a challenge, I'll give you a thousand dollars. I can, I can, say, I'm, I can. Phantom Squad, Phantom Squad. They like have a like instead of you spoiling your kids, spoil, spoiling them. Teach you, teach them values of money. Don't just hand them everything. Let them work for it. You know. But sometimes you have people that you have YouTubers that think that it's okay if they like, if they want their kids to not they want to. Give the kid everything. That's that's cool. But my thing is, we see they're so cool in royalty. I don't know if they break up is fake. I don't. I can't say. But the vlog on YouTube, I say it's fake. So if it's if they did if they're just doing it for views, they shouldn't do that. Nah. Some some stuff shouldn't be on YouTube. Like you shouldn't bring like your relationship drama on YouTube.
That's 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 how I sell a lot. People always ask me, "Charlie, how are you? How are you so strong? How are you so positive?" <laughs> I tell y'all this. I tell y'all this same same thing. I tell y'all. I matured. I grew up. I knew what not to allow in my space and what folks not to allow in my space. So I, I grew up. I leveled up. You know, I had to level up too. You can't be so wishy-washy with people. You can't let folks back into your life the next day. Then the following day, y'all arguing, fighting, y'all being negative towards each other. If you want to lose weight, yeah, great tip. Drink water between. You can still eat junk food, but not all the time. You can still, you can still, you can still eat junk food. Every time you eat, eat, drink, drink water, drink, drink water with your food. Yep. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's just crazy how people. Think it's cool to be a, to be negative. Like you can't, you got you have you have a lot of negative Nancys out there in the, in the world, and you have these people called Karens. Karens are the white people that be, you know, I don't like they be you know, Karen be negative. Think everything gets they don't have their way, and they get mad and want to call cops on you for no reason. Like you can. You can be doing absolutely nothing. You can be just going to your car or walking and think it's okay to like bully you, but it's not. Thank y'all for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend Jake and Robert. Those are my those are my friends. I would like it if y'all can go to their go to their YouTube channel and, and subscribe to their channel. Subscribe to their channel and tell them that the China, excuse me and tell them that China sent you y'all to their channel. They do challenges. They do recently they did the hot wings challenge. So yeah, go give they video some likes and subscribe to their channel. Tell them that I sent you. You know, as always, stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay awesome, stay what stay you. No matter what you go through in life. Everything will be okay. Bye. Bye.